Hello. Today I am going to talk to you a little bit about what is a sustainable business. And I don't know if you're like me, but when I first heard, I, I saw, saw any blog posts or anything like that about a sustainable business, I sort of thought, oh, well, that that's about you know, recycle paper and being more digital and not just printing stuff recklessly or it's about the electricity company I use. <laughs> I thought, I'm doing all that. And I didn't really think I needed to read any blog posts about um, sustainability. I just thought, oh, that doesn't really apply to me. But what I've learned lately is that sustainable business actually means having a business that you can sustain for a long time. And I guess I learned that a little bit the hard way in that I have done things in the past that I wasn't able to sustain and that did impact me in a way that I didn't really either, either I didn't want to be in business or I just couldn't maintain those actions. Um, so I'm going to go into those in a second. But before that, I would just like to say, you know, I think if you are taking care of yourself and um, looking after your business in a future focused way and a present moment way um, and you're being conscious in the moment that you've created a business where you can focus on feeling good in the moment or at least you know being okay with how the moment feels and still being able to generate love and a positive energy but that to me is a sustainable business and while it's not literally about recycled paper and trees and the earth that I find when I do care for myself more and I am healthy and well that for me it's a natural ripple on effect to think about I'm just looking at the tree out there to think about nature and how I can care for the earth so even though it's not explicitly about environmental sustainability I think that when you're in good shape you are going to think well about the environment and taking care of her. So, you know, in a sort of a macro, micro way, I think it does um, affect environmental sustainability as well as wholesome business practices. So what I did want to talk about today is a couple of things that I've learned. Mostly I've learned about these things through having a life coach and working on my own life and getting myself in a really optimal state and being able to show up um, consistently and, and that I have been able to grow a business that lets me give money into the household every week and make that kind of contribution to my family. Um, so life coaching has really helped inform my perspective and also um, that I practice meditation. So I think that these two things have really had a beautiful marriage for me. Um, and coaching really taught me what I really got out of I mean a lot of things is what I got out of coaching but one of the main things is that thing of when you're having a, a moment of clarity and a moment of insight and um, purposefulness and values aligned clarity you've set aside some time to think about how you want things to look so sometimes in a coaching session it becomes apparent oh you know I really just want to eat better and how could I eat better? I think if I planned out my meals, that would work better. Or if you're having a, a coaching session for business that it becomes apparent, oh, well, how could I make things better? Well, I could actually have a plan. <laughs> so having that time where you think ahead, think well about your life situation ahead of time and you make choices ahead of time. Because I know when I, by the time I get to the fridge and I'm hungry, probably hangry I'm just going to get anything and stick it in my mouth I'm not actually going to eat the things that in that moment of clarity I thought I did want to eat and the same with business like if I don't have a plan I just used to sit down at the desk and just do whatever just do a bit of this do a bit of that and I didn't really understand like is this and I heaps of my clients say this as well what's the thing that is actually important that's going to move the needle what are the tasks I really ought to do or want to do that are going to grow the business rather than just jumping here, kind of working maniacally for a little while and then not really feeling like I achieved anything. So I love that. Um, and the mindfulness piece, or I mean, I do a meditation practice. So I would say what I really learned is that when I'm just reacting, like things are just coming at me and I'm just reacting, that that's often a place um, 
a, a, a moment in time where I'm not acting in ways that I feel happy with and later on I have regrets about the way I acted and so you know I have learned through meditation practice to be able to sit in uncomfortable situations and not react so I've trained myself through meditation practice to not be so reactive because a lot of the time not just my own pain but I would like be throwing my discomfort out there at other people so I've really learned through meditation and life that I don't want to be reactive it's not it's not bringing out the best of me when I'm super reactive I'd rather be intentional and um not just let my sort of reactive tendency run the ship. So for me, like some of my negative tendencies are like I could literally just sit here at this computer for four hours. Like physically, I am able to do that for better or worse. But I know from experience that like I wouldn't drink water, I wouldn't eat, I could literally just sit there for four hours and just drinking some water now. It's not sustainable. I get really like my mood goes to the poop. I, you know, so I'm not happy, I'm not feeling good and after a few hours obviously things stop working as well. So I know that if I want to be able to go for five, six hours a day and I want to be able to do that for a few years then I'm going to have to get up and eat and drink water. So, um, you know, times when I'm not honouring that generally I, it also manifests as like I get really pissed off with my business I don't want to do it. I want to break up with my business. I just want to throw it all at the dogs and I don't want to keep going. I bur Essentially, I burn out from doing that in a, too much of an ongoing way. Also, like not taking days off or not taking weeks off and just trying to hammer. That is just not sustainable for me. So that's one of my tendencies is I have to actually have calendar, like I have, you know, phone alerts to get up and go to the standing desk and I have morning walks. I have all kinds of things scheduled in so that I don't just sit there for hours and hours because I know from experience how negatively that affects my, how sustainable my business is. I can't sustain that in an ongoing way. And just thinking about, you know, family health issues and things like that like my dad had an issue from being too sedentary that was some kind of a leg thing I don't know what it was called gross um so I'm really aware that yeah he could just sit for hours I could just sit for hours I am able to do that I'm not one of those like really physically choppy people I can just focus so you know that has positive aspects but I just need to sort out the negative consequences of that and make intentional choices and another one um, that's my corker and I'm sure I'd love to hear what yours are as well is that I can go into like my real like I just want to be a yes girl I want to say yes to everyone I want to really be a people please and I want to help everybody and um, how that manifests is I never used to have any of my business building activities in my calendar so my things that mean my business is is, is going to be sustained as in in 10 years I'm, or five years, I'm still going to have a business is creating content, connecting with referral partners. So people who I refer to and people who refer to me, distributing my content, which I do with Facebook ads. So there's lots of options. Um, learning. I like to do a bit of learning, but also it's a very fine balance. Like I don't want to be spending 20 hours a week learning and not actually implementing. So I just have one hour a week allocated to my learning. I'm just going to check my list because I feel like there was five. Learning, content, net nurturing, oh, and creating new products and courses. So if, you, if I'm not creating something new and testing it, then I don't really know if I'm capping out my market well. So I want to make sure that, yeah, I've got my current offer. And if that's not selling well, then I can do some market research or other things to really optimize my offer and make sure that I am providing what my people want. So they're the activities that I do on a week-to-week -week basis. They all have a one-hour slot in my calendar so that I actually do them. And then into the future, I know, like, if I don't do these and I just let all my clients fill up my calendar first, in four months I won't have a steady cash flow because I won't have been creating space for my business. So it's a fine line of having enough of those business building activities, not too much, and having enough hours for, create, for serving clients, but also not just being reactive to them and not having that fill up my, my calendar with no seeds being planted for the future. So that's pretty much it. I wonder um, 
do you feel like you are reactive in your business or what are some things in your business that you would like to be more intentional about or less reactive about? I'd love to hear that in comments or you could message me or whatever floats your boat. If you made it this far, thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it and I hope you're having a pretty decent day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It's just beautiful out there. A beautiful day and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. See you soon.